adding the spring connectors. We're going to start by going into my multiple views. And for this one, I'm going to need to bring back up my image planes. Going back to my shell, I notice that this cut actually is going to be needed. All I have to do is press one to shut off the smooth view, go into my vertices and move them accordingly. Moving on, I'll go ahead and fix my undercarriage as well by selecting the vertices. And moving those into place. Lastly, I'm just going to reposition my frame. And I'll move my shell just slightly upwards. Just so that is not going through the frame per se. So there's a little bit of distance. Now that we have successfully adjusted our car, let's go ahead and continue by adding the spring connectors. By doing so, we're going to use the NURBS curves. Go to the Create, select Curves tool, and choose CV Curve. Going into the front view, we're going to start following this shape as close as we can by clicking and dragging. I'm going to bring it all the way down. And then try to bring it all the way up again so that it creates some sort of loop. If it does not look perfect, do not worry. We can always fix that later. Once we're done, we're going to click Enter. Now we'll go into Surfaces. Open Close Curves. Once that worked, go into your side view, move it forward. Grabbing the control vertex, go ahead and adjust it accordingly so that it's not going through your shell. Towards the bottom, squish those in, and I will probably grab my car frame and extend it ever so slightly by selecting the faces and moving them forward. Oops. Always make sure that you're not selecting faces um, by mistake. I'll move this forward just like so, so that this spring supporter has an actual base. I'll select now my curve and go into surfaces, bevel plus. Go to the option box, reset tool setting, and hit apply. That tool will create geometry based on the curve we just did. Go into my side view, 
grab my scale tool. I'll do my best to scale it to my reference. You can close that down and you can go into the bevel plus inputs. There you can play with the width, depth and extrude depth. Under the extrude depth, I'll probably go with 0.11 width and depth 0.1. I'll move it to the side just so that it's not going through my geometry. Using my side view, I will now select my curve, duplicate it, bringing it all the way back. Using my front view and selecting my control vertex, I will now readjust my points so that they match my connector on the back. This does not have to be exact by any means. However, you want to get it as close as possible. Go into your perspective view, move it accordingly. Once done, Go into your object mode, surfaces, bevel plus, and hit apply. Reposition it. And also consider adding a frame support underneath it. Best way for me to go about this would be to select in my frame, go into my vertices, side view, and I will push this support towards this end. I click and drag, and I push that enough so that it fits. Looking at the top view, I noticed that I might actually need to add edge loops to the sides. So let's do that so we match my reference a little bit better. Once I'm happy with my result, I'll probably just move my spring connector ever so slightly. That works. Select the spring connectors. Go ahead and delete by history. At this point, you can get rid of the curves. Up next, we're going to be connecting the wheel and the springs.